Welcome back to our video series on subnetting. This is uh, this is uh, video number five, and in this video we're going to be talking about IP version four address structure. And first, we need to talk about what in the world we mean by an IP address. Well, by an IP address, we mean a unique number that every device that uh, wants to participate on the internet must have. So just as every telephone in the world must have a unique telephone number, or every house or business must have a unique uh, address, mailing address, that, that is to say if they want to participate in the mail system or in the telephone system, uh, of course if they don't participate they don't need uh, an address or a telephone number, but uh, in the same way if you want to participate in the internet you have to have a unique number so that devices uh, in on one area of the internet know how to find you uh, in order to send a transmission to you and so we do this by a number that is 32 bits long it looks something like this wow that's a big number in fact if we were to translate this number into into decimal it would look something like this 3,394,934,99 Wow, that's a big number, uh, and uh, in fact, let's uh, imagine what if all of these were ones, and it looked like that. Well, that means that the highest number that we could get would be 4,294,967,295. Now, although that's a big number, when you think about 4 billion, uh, 4.3 billion approximately, uh, that's not enough and we are in fact we have already run out of these addresses and uh, that is kind of a problem but we'll deal with that in later videos uh, but uh, for now uh, just be aware that we're talking about 32 bits and that we can get up into uh, up to about 4.3 billion with those addresses well this is a little unruly I mean, it'd be difficult to say, well, yeah, uh, my address is uh, 2,397,147,132. That, that's a little unruly to work with. So what we do is, well, we realize that since there are 32, that divides up very nicely into 8-bit uh, uh, bytes, four 8-bit bytes. And so we could divide that up into four bytes like this and then if we translate uh, those well actually instead of putting I should say instead of putting uh, uh, spaces here we usually just put a dot between them just to uh, separate them and if we were to translate that into decimal we can now translate each one individually and in this case we would get 202.90 that's this one dot 149.82 and so this is the what we uh, what we think of the familiar IP address that many of us have seen uh, on our machines from time to time or or in literature from time to time and uh, so we have a name for that by the way we call that dotted decimal notation uh, because it's in decimal not in binary and because we have the dots to separate uh, the uh, the four sections well we have names by the way for each of these four sections we call these octets so the the first one 202 is what we call the first octet uh, then the 90 would be the second octet 149 would be the third octet and finally 82 would be the fourth octet so it's that simple that's the basic IP version 4 uh, structure looks uh, here's a, our summary it looks like this 202.90.149.82 we call it a dotted decimal notation it has four octets and each octet since these are eight bits in an octet can have anywhere from 0 to 255 uh, we can't go higher than that because eight ones equals 255 so that's all there is uh, to it and uh, next up by the way uh, we will be talking about something we call the subnet mask. Thank you for watching.